the 2020 Dad Ran the AU in the State Regularity Series, finishing with two first places, one second place and a sixth, giving him second overall in the series. It wasn't without its struggles, however. The last round at Simmons Plains was made even more special. Jeff Stevens's Ferrari F430 Challenge, competing in the same class in a real Ford vs Ferrari battle. further than the spirit of the club level events we had initially competed in. So the decision was made to take it to the next level and get it ready for circuit racing. A Motorsport Australia compliant bolt-in cage was purchased and fitted, a racing steering wheel, five-point harness and window net were fitted as well as a fixed back race seat on a set of old mounts we had left over from another build. The factory seat mounts were modified so no drilling or welding was needed in the floor of the car and the seat can easily be unbolted and moved or removed completely. The battery was replaced with a slightly lighter one and moved inside the car as well as an in-cabin battery isolator switch. On the outside a rain light was fitted to the rear of the car, bonnet pins fitted and an external battery isolator switch fitted on a custom bracket on the windscreen cowl panel. A set of 18 inch wheels that loosely resembled the original green eyed monster wheels were purchased and some Yokohama AO48 semi slicks fitted. The car was logbooked as an improved production car and now ready to hit the track, albeit with only lowered shocks, springs, and BF turbo front brake rotors. The car was finished the week before the Race Tasmania event at Simmons Plains. The car performed as well as could be hoped for on a known power track. A few days later, another Race Tasmania event would be conducted at Baskerville, our home track. It was fortunate Leon Duggan had entered his Mark 1 Escort as we were able to race closely and trade positions constantly without swapping any paint. The AU ended up in the 1 minute and 4 second bracket mark, which we were extremely happy with considering there is still so much development and upgrades planned for the AU. Following the Race Tasmania events, Dad once again entered the AU in the State Regularity Series and after 4 rounds, holds a slim lead in the series with 2 rounds to go. Dad 
has another club car in the wings to take over for next year so we can carry out the upgrades on the AU without missing any racing. The biggest upgrade planned is adding a few more cylinders.